Okay, folks, so I will show you what I call pockets of Gucci. If you sweat like me, Pointa Peak is the perfect destination for you. Yes, it's hot, but the vibe here, the locals, this is how they do. Just park on the side of the road. Bam! You have umbrella like trees, nice golden sandy beach, steps away from your car. And once you're done, you get back in the shade, dry up, towel up. I don't know if I got my towels, but I'm gonna take a dive. Uh, just, you know what? It's better that I show you than tell you. So follow me. Okay. Okay, perfect. So as we make our way to the hotel, uh, we're gonna make a couple of stops. So one of them is uh, coming up. It's called Anne de la Gourde. Uh, it's about six uh, minutes away. It's one of those hidden gems, you know? It's one of those. It's picture-perfect beach with golden sands and turquoise water. Like I said, I'd rather show you than tell you. So buckle up, hit that like button, and we're almost there. This is it, guys. This is what I mean. Umbrella-like trees where you can catch the shade and a golden sand and birds singing everywhere. I had to take a dive, man. Wow. It's a little cold. Early morning. It's uh, 8 30. Wow. It's beautiful. Wow. 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 I hope we get to come. Oh my god, it's like I can't see. Alright, please come down. I hope we capture fishes down there. I can't open my eyes underwater. Uh, we are Saint-Francois in uh, Point Tapit in Guadeloupe. Just enjoying this beach vibe, you know, like the turquoise water. Look at that. Turquoise water and golden sand. Private where there's nobody to bug you. There's only those two couples over there. Maybe I'm intruding. But hey, I'm here on the sneak peek just for you viewers out there, you know, my loyal fans out there. And if you haven't done so, hit that like button. Hey, let me tell you one thing. One thing for sure. If you don't leave your comfort zone, and if you're still on your couch and following me everywhere I go, and not exploring places like this, ah oh man, you're missing out. But the thing is, you gotta be able to take the risk. Take the risk. And, you know, I'm out here, no lifeguards, there's practically nobody. I don't even know where my car is parked. And, but this is just beautiful, like, man. I don't know, man. If, if this is not life, tell me what is. From Bacardi, I say, huh? Yeah, look at that. I see a foot that I can. Wow. This is awesome. Yo, like I said, get off the sun, get off the beach, and come right in to the umbrella tree. Pockets of beaches. You can sit here or pull up right here. 
with your picnic tables, with your camping chairs, whatever you, whatever you feeling, whatever you vibing for the day, Guadalupe have it. This is my favorite beach so far. I've been to Cancun four times, I've been to Thailand, I've been to San Diego, I've been to, uh, man, uh, Italy, I've been to Ostia Beach. Like, this is the best, like, look. Look, people just park anywhere. Just, you just park anywhere and you have fun. Just chill, vibe with mother nature, you know? This is not an inspirational video, but I hope somebody gets inspired by this and break out of their comfort zone. Walk with me. I don't even have swimming pants on, but I still went. All right, so this brings us to the next segment. Pockets of beaches. All right, so uh, that was the La Gourde and the La Gourde. It's in the middle of nowhere like don't just just put that on your gps and drive and when you come out here make sure you rent a car because it's not like a big city with like new york or something where you can take uber anytime you want so now let's go to the next stop so most of you now are saying ben you told me you you pull over on the side of the road and uh you're going to the beach of course i did and that's what we're gonna do it's just this one is just a unique gem you know a unique place uh, excuse the excuse the plastic because uh, like i was saying before my battery died uh, i didn't have an extra pair of uh, swimming suits so and i didn't bring any pants or so speaking of that we're gonna go check out the beach where the coast is optional yeah so, we're gonna head out where the locals vibe, you know, where they just pull up, park their car, and go straight to the beach. And the harder to get, if, if the beach is harder to get, it's worth seeing. So like this one, it was a bit off the track. But the, the, there are like lots of, I'll put some pictures that I took earlier, actually, uh, a couple of days ago. It's like I'm, there's water on the moon. It's kind of like that. It's mind blowing. You have to come and see it. More showing, less talking. Let's go. This is what I mean where uh, the locals just park and dive into the beach. It's right here. All these cars that are parked. Let's just cross over and go to the beach. Uh, it's very sunny. It's like 28 degrees. By the way, if y'all wondering, the population is 400,000 as in 2021 so right now we're just gonna take this trail right here you know this uh, we're gonna take this trail and see what awaits us so now I'm in the shade right away I'm in the shade so let's see what they what they got to offer what this why the locals love this so much let's find out jeez i don't know what that is oh there's another dog i'm just gonna go back i'm going back because there's a dog just looked at me all right maybe not this side as uh, I'm not scared of dogs but I think I intrude the way he's looking at me kind of like bruh <laughs> yo there's dogs on the loose and you know the funny thing is I was gonna bring my dog mellow he would have interact with them scared them a little bit Those are the locals just 
snake in the UE. Yo, when I say just park your car and open your door and you're literally steps away from the beach. Yo, I'm gonna keep on saying saying it again and again. The umbrella like trees and you just walk a couple of steps and let's see what awaits. We're not joking. Follow me everywhere I go without leaving your couch. I hope those dogs don't pull up on me behind me. Like if they do, you guys got my six. This is the life. It's gonna be a bumpy beach ride. All right. So one thing I forgot to mention here, uh, the food here is amazing. It's bumping. Like uh, we had Creole food yesterday, although I didn't like that much, like uh, what I ordered personally. But I tried some of the lobster. It was all right. But I don't wanna spoil that for you guys because uh, they have actually one of the best food here like it's, they have a uh, French cuisine but we're looking for the, that local Creole uh, food and when I find it I'll let you know but still I'm not gonna knock it it was really good I love the sauce uh, I love the ambiance the atmosphere the vibe was chill chilled out it was like people sing like a singer there looking pretty beautiful uh, as she went around, she came and said hi, you know, uh, like I told you guys, this was uh, a family getaway, right? So we had the little Zion with us and, uh, you know, she came and say hi to the baby. Even the chef came out to uh, say hi to the baby. And he actually told us like, wow, I've seen so many babies. I think it's baby season. And I don't know, like I've been traveling for a while now as a single, um, uh, you know, having a baby and I know I never noticed uh, kids around me uh, but lately like uh, I don't know man I, I've seen so many maybe it's because I have a, a child now but anyway um, yeah I, I noticed uh, there's uh, lots of them so this place I would definitely recommend this place if you are getting away with the family 100% I would definitely recommend just bring a lot of sunscreen and uh, a hat like this um, and uh, you know uh, get a car seat stroller like you need that stuff uh, and uh, I think it's uh, yeah get a car seat because uh, if you're planning to rent a car get a car seat if you have an infant with you sometimes maybe you may have a hard time finding an instant car seat but for the most part it's perfect so i don't want to bore you guys with all the technicalities but it, it's part of it you know these are the tips that i'm sharing with you guys for free so long story short i will let you know when i find the authentic uh creole food when it's boom you know it's boom when it's boom boom then it's boom boom all right so stick around till uh till then and i think that's uh that's gonna be a wrap like uh, i'm gonna do one more segment where i find where i find the perfect creole food and that's a wrap thank you for following me and thank you for joining my team siren